In this video, we will learn how to start projection mapping with Resolum Arena step by step from solid color to mapped visual. Explore the easy way and the crazy detailed way to map your surface like a pro. Understand how to use slices, mask, transform and subdivision for accurate physical alignment of projection and then build a full on mini show with built in effects, paid plugins, outlines and scene transitions all using just one photo. Okay, these boxes might be tiny and there might be one projector right now. But the craziness we are going to get into is applicable for large scale shows and installations. Hi, my name is Unad Sabbir Ahmed and let's take a look at what do we have here today. So we have few board made cubes, few one cubic feet, few six cubic inches and we have a Z 3D you know just to have some fun. So let's set up the boxes into some meaningful composition. Then we're going to place a projector from the front covering the whole surface area we're going to use. Let's turn on the projector and boom we are ready to dive in. In Resolume Arena let's take a solid color. Let's change the color to white. Let's go to advanced output. Let's set the screen output to the projector. Now we have the whole color of the projector onto my mapping surface. Let's take a photo as flat as possible. Let's drop this photo on a composition. Let's resize the photo to the composition. Let's go to the advanced output again. From this point, we can go two ways. Let's go with the lazy way or the easy way. The lazy way will make the idea a bit easier to understand before we get into the crazy way. So we take only one slice. Let's go to the input mapping and select only the parts we need because it will be easier for maneuver later on. Once it's done, let's draw input mask and cut off the parts we don't want to see. For this part, even for the lazy way, I suggest you to take time. Okay, now we have a beautiful input mapping. Let's go to the output section. Let's see. Oh my God. All right, let's fix it. First, let's scale it to gross with transform. Then we select edit points to fix the perspective. Note at this point, I'm just playing with four gross points. I will fix the center points later with divisions. Let's go to the warping section. Now let's start with getting one X subdivision. And when I'm running out of possibilities with this subdivision, I add another one, but this time for Y. Less division means less complicacy. You will know once you get into it. Okay, now I have the photo of my installation placed accurately on the physical installation and it was comparatively easy, right? Was it really that easy? Ho ho ho. Let's see the second way of doing it and let's call it the crazy way because I am crazy and you are crazy. So hit a like and follow along. Since we admit that we are crazy, we need extra precision extra control, more dynamics, right? For that, let's go to advanced output, throw away everything we just made. So boring. Start off with a new slice. From the input selection, we will select only one surface at a time of one box. Let's try to select as precise as possible. Done. Now let's duplicate the slice and try to cover another face of another box. This may cause overlap, but don't worry, it's okay. We will cut off the parts we don't want to see later. So till now we covered all the big boxes. Let's do same for the small boxes. Okay, to keep sanity, let's rearrange the slices. This will be handy, you will know. Now, let's mask out the slices. This part is time consuming, but very essential for precision. Let's start with big boxes. Select a slice, select input mask, and then draw the mask for this slice. The parts with and hide the parts we don't want to see. Let's continue doing that for other slices.
Oh, by the way, don't forget to save frequently. Call me scared, but I had lost much. So don't do this to yourself. And oh, did we forget about the background stand with Z? No. Let's make one more slice for the background and then draw input mask. You know how to do that, right? Let's call this ZBG. And let's add one more slice for Z and draw the mask out. Okay, we have one clean Z. Ta -ta -ta -ra -ra, ta -ta -ra -ra. Okay, it's going to take some time. Okay, pew. Now that we are done, let's select all the slices. Go to Output Transform. Right click the slices and select Match Input Source. This is going to save your life. So now we are ready for actual projection mapping for all our slices. But we are over the hard part. Next part is going to be fun. Okay, in this step, we need our projector turned on. Means our projector could be slipping throughout this time. First, let's select all the slices and cross map it onto the real surface using transform tool. Try to match the reality as much as possible. The height, the scale, the width. Now we have reached our sweet spot to start. Let's add an edge detection effect onto the photo. This will give us outlines so that at least we can work now. Let's go to advanced output and turn off all slices and start it with one. Now we sip coffee, take time to make it perfectly match the reality. Remember, you can of course rush this part, but you will be cheating with yourself. Come on. So put on your favorite music and start mapping. Chill. While you are doing this, you may ask yourself, why am I doing this instead of easy and the lazy way? The answer is the slices will give you more power, more control, more customization. We will have more to do. And that's what we're going to do in the next part of this video when we are about to make our show. And we are done with our projection mapping, ready to make our show. Before that, the things we are doing here in Resolum Arena, it's a bit complicated, a little bit advanced. If you think that you are missing something and you would love to have a proper training from me, you can start by enrolling the video course here. This video course covers all the essential basics you need to know about Resolum Arena, from basics to kind of advanced. I will leave a promo code somewhere hidden in this video so that you can enjoy a discount just for you. to start making a show. What we do is strobe. You got it right. To survive the stereotype or just to start with an impact, let's go with the second one. Let's drop a strobe effect onto the clip. Let's fix the frequency to 0.99 so that it becomes a real strobe. Then let's set the opacity to timeline and then add an envelope. Select the envelope preset and now we have a pumpy strobe. Looks good, right? From the slices panel, I drag ZBG slice onto this clip. Remember, this is why we named it properly. So that we can work here getting ourselves getting confused. Now our ZBG is strobing. So I will hold Ctrl or Command and drag this clip to another one. This will make a copy. And now let's change the slice. This time we will change this to just the Z. So let's drop Z slice. Now we have a strobing Z. Let's go to sources and I drag a line scape. Oh, this looks good. Let's select all big boxes from slice tab and drop onto this. And now we have a lava thingy. 
just on the big boxes. See, this is why we spend much time on making these perfect slices. Because we have more control. Now for the strobing Z, let's put it into timeline and make it to play once and hold on the opposite direction by the way. So whenever this clip is triggered, this strobing slice will be triggered once and slowly fade out. This is so cool, right? So now we have two columns ready. We can call them two scenes. We will make eight scenes for a show. Let's say for the third scene or third column, let's use another source. Let's drop this to our clip holder. Ah, this looks good. Let's drop the slices for small boxes onto this source and get this source mapped onto our small boxes only. Okay, remember we are in Resolume and Resolume has an enormous community of advanced users and developers. So let's try a premium plugin this time. This is called Slice Outliner. So we already have our small boxes. Let's drop big boxes slices onto this slice outliner. And oh cool, look what we have got. Let's drop a static generator from sources. Then we drop Z slice onto it. Now we have three columns ready, means three scenes for our show. Speaking of premium resolute plugins, how can we not use the heat of all? Chaser, let's do it. It will be very easy for us now since we have all detailed slices ready. Remember the first part we were sweating, now it's time. So our chaser sequence one would be like this. Next scene, we make a crazy bing bang for four and something else on three. So let's drop a solid, change the color to something nicer, maybe a gender neutral pinkish white, you may call it. Let's drop a chaser, then let's change the steps to BPM sync. Let's select our chaser sequence. But what if this needs to flash more, how can we do it? Let's change the Z flash to BPM sync. Use the template envelope, this will make the logo hit hard. For the next column, let's copy this chaser, change the chaser to the second one we just made. Let's take it to the layer up, let's add something on the background. Let's say Safari, oh this looks okay. Let's add only the big boxes from the slice onto this source. This will make Safari visual only visible on these big boxes. Next scene and another solid, oh not red. Let's change the color to something else. Let's drag everything but ZBG. Meh, doesn't look good. Let's try again. Okay, let's drag the small boxes and Z on top of it. We did not actually use any much effect until now, other than Chaser, you know. I mean, we haven't used native resolute effects, so let's try those. Let's start with tunnel effect. We can start with preset and noodle until we reach some point we like. And then we will use strobe again and again and again and again. I mean strobe on column 7. Cause my scene 6 shall be space out. So the 7 needs to be hit back. So strobe in 7 again. So let's make a space out scene. Something to make a confusion. Let's drop big boxes including ZPG and drop it all on this solid. So I will create this confusion with putting an envelope on this opacity, a random one from the preset. But it's not working. Why is that? Because I have to set it to BPM or timeline. So let's go with BPM. Now let's go beyond this. Let's drop a solid color on top of this effect. Let's put this onto timeline mode and play once and pause. Now my confusion effect hits strobing and finishes after a while. 
I can control the speed and tweak it until I like it. For the next column, remember we are building up here the show. To build up here, let's use Slice Draw. This one is by Capity Hippo. And we start getting crazier and crazier. So let's noodle it and try to reach a point we are going to like. So while noodling the slice strobe, I ended up with something really cool shot. So I plan to use it as the last shot because it's a dramatic one. And in the last scene, let's put this in the layer one. Okay, let's bring back the Z bring bang strobe. Let's change the slice to Z because this is going to be the last shot. Pew. Now let's take a pause, a little break, sip a coffee and let's see how our column looks. They looks okay okay did we finish no let's add one resolume logo at the end of the last column to make sure this is done with resolume nothing else so we will make another chess sequence for this one just one small boxes let's fix the parameter of this effect so the last shot becomes our resolume scene on chaser Now I will go to keyboard mapping and add a shortcut, just one keystroke, in my case space, to go to the next column. So I will use this keyboard shortcut to stay synchronized to the music. That's it for now. I know this might be time consuming, but I promise you, you will end up with making something awesome. And here is the promo code for Resolum Masterclass. This is just for you. Don't share it with anyone. By the way, in this installation, I did not just use Resolume to make a show, used MadMapper and Havium as well. And I tried to put together the experiment of three mapping software together in one platter. Check out this video next to see what I was talking about. And hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed and I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. Don't forget to check out Resolume Masterclass here. See you there.